So when we started out two years ago to start on technology, we drove FPD as our natural choice. FPD industrial part of the Aveco group are the world leaders in electric technology. They are the pioneers in electric technology. They are the leaders in Europe when it comes to gas based technology. And through our cooperation, collaboration with them, they build an energy energy technology which is showcased there for everybody to see after this. Which is designed, suited, customized, and developed for the Indian market. First of all, congratulations on the new launch of Blue Energy Motors as well as the new truck. Today, uh, we have Mr. Silvan who is uh, heading the FPT Industrial and Mr. Anirudh who is heading Blue Energy Motors. Congratulations on the first truck and how's the experience been? Well, you know, we are, uh, we are now launching today India's first LNG truck. So we are all very excited. It has been a pioneering journey for us because, uh, as you know, uh, there are no LNG trucks in India. It's a new technology. Uh, we believe that India is ready for it. It has taken us two years to get to this stage. So yeah, for all of us, uh, you know, who have collaborated on this project and worked on this project, it's uh, it's a milestone. So we are all very excited about it. Uh, so even for FPT, how has the industry, how has the FPT uh, been contributing to the blue energy response or only how did the company set up? Alors, as you know, we are we are a power, global powertrain company, so we design, build, and sell powertrain solution globally. Uh, for us, I mean, it's first a great opportunity because we've been historically present in the Indian market with customers like CNH Industrial, but this is our first application in the Indian market on a truck application. I mean, of course, we are leveraging on uh, 25 years of experience in natural gas technology. I mean, we've been pioneering this type of technology in Europe where we've built a market leading position there. And we are leveraging on this know-how now to adapt it. And we've done, we've run over the last 18 months a specific development to f uh, suit the needs of the Indian market. Yeah. Any specific reason why we have selected the 6 liter engine? Yeah. So I think India, if you see, is very low on the power to weight ratio. You know, historically, uh, unlike Europe and North America, and even for that matter, China, they have all graduated to much more higher power engines. India, we are still transitioning from a low power to higher power. So, until a decade ago, we were at the 180 horsepower for a heavy duty truck. If I tell that to Sylvia and the team, they, they, they just can't get their heads to it. Their light duty <laughs> truck also doesn't power with 180 horsepower. Uh, but in India, it's unique because A, our uh, speeds that we run our trucks in is less than 35 kilometers per hour. And uh, two, the distances that we cover is only about 350 kilometers. The heaviest duty truck on a single day would not cover more than 350. So our duty cycle requirements are lower. 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 Uh, in terms of what the truck needs. Yeah. But having said that, the other issue which comes is the capital cost. India, as you know, if you know, the logistics cost right now is undergoing its own share of challenges. So if you increase the capital cost of the truck, then the operating cost falls off. So if you marry all the three issues, you need an engine, which is the choice of our engine, the 6.7 liter. It uh, gives 280 horsepower with 1000 Newton meter torque, which I think is very ideally suited for the market. Also, uh, the... Uh, uh, the N67 engine, which LNG has as of now, can it be run on CNG? Yes, this is a gas engine. It can be run on CNG, LNG, and biomethane. And maybe just to add on the on the engine side on the technology. I mean, our engine is designed basically to run on LNG, CNG, and biomethane. So, and in terms of performance, today we did what we like to call the, to deliver a performance which is diesel-like. I mean, as uh, Anirudh was quoting, I mean. The, the engine we are installing on, on, on the truck is 280 horsepower and delivering 1000 newton meter. So it's perfectly matching basically the typical mission here in the Indian market. 
also considering FPT's first footprint in India, how are you procuring the spare part availability for the truck? Should I answer that question? Yeah, go 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 first, then I complete. So, um, so we are basically uh, developing the complete spare parts requirement. Obviously, mm -hmm. we are just starting out. So, uh, you know, we are seeing what is going to be the spare parts requirement as we go on. But uh, you know, we are going to have a joint program of stocking spare parts both in India and in Italy mm -hmm. and throughout our service network. All right. So, currently, are the engines completely into the assembly mode, or are they are into CKD mode? So engines are completely coming right. built from Italy right now. All right. Okay. Rest of the truck is of course uh, made and uh, assembled in India. Engine comes as a fully built pack. Okay. And how much of it are we localizing entire truck? Uh, right now, barring the engine and a few other components, all truck is localized out of India. Even the cabin and no, so a cabin comes from China, okay. uh, but uh, majority, but cabin constitutes a very small percentage of the overall truck but rest of the complete truck whether it's the powertrain so that's the axles or the gearbox or the chassis all other components are all sourced from india incidentally out of the 122 suppliers we have 100 on puna oh so that's a very good network yeah it's a complete design engineered and built uh, for the indian market truck you would like to add upon <laughs> yeah ju just to add i mean uh, the industrial setup here in Pune is quite impressive because there's this full ecosystem around automotive and truck industry which allowed from start basically to have already quite uh, a local footprint. For us FPT, we are, we are building, continuing to build a stronger position here. Obviously, before we speak about full localization uh, of engine, uh, we need as well to have, to have to see the maturity of the market and how the, the volume will build up uh, over time. But we all, I mean, the engine we are fitting, we are already leveraging on some Indian local sourcing for a component, even okay. if we assemble the engine in, in our plant in Turin. And how was the testing phase of, maybe how difficult was it to bring the Italy spec engine into the Indian one? How did we do the testing for it? So uh, there are two parts to it. On the engine side, FPT did what they do best, uh, you know, because they are uh, been in engine manufacturing for decades. So they know, uh, you know, what a world class engine is. And on the truck side, uh, we developed the product over the last two years through very rigorous testing through a lot of collaboration work that we've done with the FPT team. We've been working together on this project for almost two years now. So there's a lot of integration between the two teams, between both Italy and India, that has made this truck possible. All right. And considering Blue Energy being a startup, how much of the funding has been gone into it? So uh, Blue Energy, the basic idea of this startup is to be a zero commercial vehicles company. Okay, so we are fully funded as of now. Um, right now, our target is to launch with the LNG truck that we are coming out, uh, keeping in line with our vision to be a zero emission commercial vehicle company. The second product that we will see sooner next year would be the electric version of it. Our target is going to be to disrupt the truck industry on the product side by going completely green. Okay. And that's what the initiative we are going to take. In the coming, uh, you know, right now we are fully funded and maybe uh, towards the end of the year or next year, depending upon how we scale up, we will see if we need to raise more funding. Also for Blue Energy, what does FPT bring in and what does Iveco Group bring in? So FPT is part of Iveco Group. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it is uh, kind of the one entity. What FPT has brought on to the table is the LNG engine technology. Like I said that, you know, when we started doing this product, we were scouting for technology. So FPT was a natural choice because they are world leaders in gas technology, they are pioneers in LNG, and they are also leaders in Europe when it comes to LNG technology. So with their uh, collaboration, they have developed this LNG engine technology, which is suitable for India. And uh, that is uh, the heart of the truck. So in my mind, you know, that is uh, going to be the most single important ingredient of how the truck delivers to the market. All right. What is the investment outlay since inception and how much of it is realized? So we have more or less uh, completed our investment. So investments are fully done. As you can see, today is the launch of the truck. Uh, the plant is complete. Uh, this plant has a capacity of 10,000 trucks, you know, in two ships. 
um, our product is ready. So uh, now we are moving into phase two of the business is to really go out in the market and start to sell the trucks. That's where we are. Also considering the entire facility, is this the only one existing in India or are you leveraging the previous uh, facilities as well? No. So this is a new concept that we've come up with. This, these are what we call smart modular factories. They have a small footprint of 100,000 square feet and capable of producing 10,000 trucks annually. Uh, we believe that uh, we won't, what we are trying to do on the manufacturing side is create a disruption. Unlike putting up large facilities and large investments which are capital heavy, our model is capex like, it's flexible, it's robust, it's scalable and we can put these units up anywhere in India in 120 days. So instead of building capacity and then chasing, uh, mm -hmm. chasing demand, we are flipping the coin. We are saying we will just put in adequate capacity. As the market scales up, we will put multiple footprints. So consider this to be in the state of your facility and probably the first one, what are the automation levels and how is the entire of so, so truck assembly historically is a low automation mode, okay, because they are very, very heavy. So, you know, in terms of automation levels, it's, uh, you know, fairly, it's not required when it comes to the truck industry. But having said that, all testing capabilities, you know, because once a truck is made, all the testing capabilities are automated because that is where it becomes very, very critical. Having said that, all the testing of the trucks which have been done during development, these are all automated. Okay, these cannot be done manually. So they have been done, uh, you know, in centers like ARAI and ICAT and NATTRAX and so on and so forth, where they have advanced facilities. Today, we have a unique opportunity where we can leverage capabilities all around us rather than putting investments under our own hood and Pune gives us that opportunity to do that. Okay, uh, uh, considering the investment, are you applying for PLI scheme? No, we are not applying for PLI scheme now. Any specific reason or? Well, clearly speaking, uh, you know, our business model is that we are an engineering, design, technology driven company, you know, where we do last mile integration, we do distribution, service, support, financing, and uh, a subscription oriented model. This is what our core business model is. So we are going to be focusing on the uh, core of our business model and we do not intend to get into value added manufacturing. Oh, also, uh, are there any technical collaborations or IT licensing just like IV for FPT for engine? So do you have anything for the truck? Yeah, we do. Would you like to name it? Not at the moment, but we do. How close is this, tech, uh, this truck to fab trucks? The one in Sorry, which truck? F-A-W. It's a Chinese manufacturer, truck manufacturer. It also no. works on LNG. Those trucks come with a much higher horsepower. Those are uh, coming with 13 liter engines and they are 450 horsepower and above. And uh, these trucks are uh, powered with 280 horsepower. Okay, they are uh, you know, much lower on the horsepower curve. And uh, that is the... Uh, that is the technology that we need for the Indian market. How would you compare an LNG truck with CNG on the basis of TCO? So, fundamental of CNG versus LNG is that CNG you cannot use for long haul because CNG has a limitation of how much gas you can carry in the tanks. And that is the reason why you see CNG is very good for three wheelers, four wheelers, light commercial vehicles because they have a range of zero to 200, 250 kilometers. But if you want to do long haul trucking, which is beyond 400 to 500 kilometers. LNG is the only way to go. Okay. okay, so fundamentally, when it comes to gas, there is not much difference between CNG and LNG from a technology standpoint. Yeah. But the game changes once you put an LNG on a heavy duty truck, then heavy duty truck starts becoming a viable alternative. Right. And also you mentioned about uh, disrupting the entire ecosystem, bringing the LNG truck. So by 2030, what do you consider the DIV would be? I can answer this question by giving an example. I personally believe that India emulates China when it comes to growth. Okay, and if you see China launched LNG trucks for the first time in 2015-16. Uh, they sold 15,000 trucks first year, but the market was much larger. Second year, they sold 75,000 trucks. Today, they are selling 150,000 trucks representing 14% of the market. And this is also only because the LNG is available along the coastline not so much inland, okay? If you use that as an example, in India, we believe the operating economics of LNG is superior to China. 
So depending upon the proliferation of the LNG network as and when it comes and you know we are expecting thousand outlets to come in the next five years. My anticipation is that LNG trucks are going to take significant market share in the years to come. Also, uh, how extensive was the testing done on the 5528? We've been doing it for two years. Any uh, particular kilometer reading you would like to share? Yeah, we've uh, we've clocked in excess of uh, all trucks put together. We've clocked in excess of 100,000 kilometers. Oh, and how much is the warranty claim we are giving on the engine, or any particular number of kilometers or years? We are just uh, freezing that. You know, now the product is ready, so we are just going to now crystallize how we want to do that. For any other series segment, as you mentioned, the electric vehicles. So uh, we are very focused on longer trucking. The first product coming off our stable is a 5528. Uh, we are looking at an electric version of this sometime next year. Uh, depending upon how this product is absorbed by the market, then we think of straddling the segment. Alright, to sum up the entire interview, what are the growth areas for FPT and Blue Energy and what are the challenges you have faced and any interview point you would like to share? Do you want to go first? No, I mean, I think first on the experience over the last, basically we started 18 months ago with yeah. projects. Uh, the partnership from an idea to, to now uh, a product we are launching uh, today. I think something remarkable from our side first is the way we've been working together because I think it's the true spirit of how we work at the Iveco Group and FPT Industrial and with Blue Energy is a partnership. Uh, and here, you know, from, from all the skills, the knowledge, how this partnership has been building on technical expertise, innovation, agility. But beyond this, I think it's as well on not only how this has been working, but the attitude and the spirit we put behind this, because both companies want basically to, to, to go beyond the obvious and, and be a game changer in the industry. And I think we, we are joining a very clearly spirit there to, to, to bring something which is going, we believe, is going to disrupt the, uh, the actual industry. So I think, we, he said it all, I think that uh, when we started the project, it was during COVID, yeah. okay, and you can imagine, uh, you know, what would be the situation, and here we reach out to FPT and say, hey, you know what, we are a new startup and we want to develop an LNG truck, that to a heavy duty truck, uh, first time of its kind in India, and for these guys, they didn't have the LNG technology suitable for India, so they had to take a call to bet on us, to develop and invest in LNG technology suitable for India when they had no other project. We had to bet of partnering with FPT, uh, you know, for this technology and depend upon them that for the collaboration given the time that we did. So I think that it's kind of a, it's surreal that we are here today. Uh, none of the teams in the beginning believe that this will become a reality. But I think here we are, 24 months later, launching India's first uh, LNG truck. Yeah. So like they say, adversity gives rise to opportunity and we are a poster child of that. <laughs> Thank you both of you for giving us time for CD Magazine. Stay tuned and congratulations on the